Coming up on Vegas Nation Game Day, a new starting quarterback for the Raiders. I don't make plan on making switches at any time. Just when it's time to make a switch, we make a switch. Aiden O'Connell takes the keys to the silver and black offense after a less than stellar performance in Denver by Gardner Minshew. Next up, Pittsburgh. Really make sure we don't make mistakes to give them opportunities as well. The Raiders welcoming the Steelers to the Death Star in a classic NFL matchup. What you need to know for week number six, Vegas Nation Game Day starts right now. Powered by the Las Vegas Review Journal, this is Vegas Nation Game Day. Presented by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable. Located in the One Summerlin Building in downtown Summerlin. It's once again Aiden O'Connell's offense. The second year quarterback out of Purdue is starting in week six against the Steelers. Hello and welcome back to Vegas Station Game Day. I'm your host, Dominic DeWall. Now it's official. AOC is back behind the wheel of this Raiders offense. Now if you watch Vegas Station Blitz, you heard what Vinny Bonsignor had to say about last week's offense. So what does he think is going to happen this week against the Steelers? Let's go ahead and see what Vinny's vision looks like. In terms of actual expectations, not quite sure what to expect from Aiden O'Connell this week. I guess we're all going to find that out on Sunday when the Raiders play the uh, Steelers. But I'll say this, if you were giving Aiden O'Connell some advice, don't turn the ball over because quite honestly, that's what got Gardner Minshew in trouble. That's why he was benched. That's why they're turning the uh, keys over Aiden O'Connell. They didn't like the turnovers. This team is not good enough to withstand and to sustain uh, and to win football games when your quarterback is turning it over at the rate that Gardner Minshew uh, did. And really, when you think also about it, the impact turnovers, the fumble against the Chargers, the huge interception uh, against the Broncos that turned that game around last week in Denver. So for Aiden O'Connell to hold on to this job for the Raiders to succeed with him as quarterback, number one, take care of the ball. Then just be an efficient quarterback. Get the ball out to the playmakers. Quickly, uh, this is a fierce pass rush that they're playing against 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 the Steelers. So get the ball out to the ball uh, to the playmakers, accurately on time. Let them go do their thing, and uh, above all else, don't turn the ball over. Gotcha, Vinny. Now I see where your head's at for Week Six. Now switching gears here, it's been quite a season for the Raiders already. Really, just a wild week. Let's go ahead and take a listen in the locker room as the team preps for the Steelers. It's a big opportunity, you know. Um, for me personally, you know, I think I'm performing best. Uh, you know, with my back's against the wall, and I think all of our back's against the wall, this would be a good test for the team uh, and the kind of effort that we put, you know, that we put in going forward. Christian, a great player, great, great role model. So, you know, it is next man up, but you know, you losing a player like that, you got to play to a higher level and a higher standard. You don't get a reward for doing what you're supposed to do. We, you know, we got to come out victorious. We can't, you know, let the mistakes, you know, hurt ourselves. So, and that's what exactly what happened. Winning that game, made too many mistakes, and didn't get any turnovers, and you know it cost us a game. I mean, Spill is a leader regardless. You know, rather if it was a team he played for or he didn't, you know, Spill is gonna come out here and give his effort and help lead the defense to, you know, make plays. Now we're almost a third of the way through the season at this point, so some stats have got to be pretty juiced up at this point. Here are some stats to look out for this week is Heidi Fang with the hard count. Thanks, Dom. Quarterback play will be a point of focus for the Raiders in Week 6 against the Steelers, but it'll be equally important for the offensive line to hold strong as we look at how well their opposition has defended against them. Pittsburgh's defense has racked up six interceptions through the first five weeks of play, and they've hit pay dirt against opposing quarterbacks with 13 sacks. To date, the Raiders' offensive line has allowed 17 sacks. All eyes will be on the offensive line to see how they protect and if they can also get the run game going. And with one tackle for loss, Crosby will pass Jared Allen for the fourth most tackles for loss in NFL history since 1999 by a player in their first six NFL seasons. I'm Heidi Fang and that's the hard count. Back to you, Dom. All right, now you all got a little fun stats to point out to your friends and family this week. However, we've got to take a brief break, but don't go anywhere. After the break, we go against the grain with Ed Graney, and we'll get some betting numbers from Todd Dewey. Vegas Station Game Day, the Week 6 edition. We'll be right back. DNR House of Diamonds is Las Vegas' elite private office jeweler. We specialize in natural and lab-grown loose diamonds, engagement rings, and custom design. If you're looking for lab-grown diamonds, we have one of the largest selections at the best prices in Las Vegas. We make luxury affordable every day. Hey, welcome back, and thanks for sticking with me. As promised, we're going to go against the grain. Ed, what you got this week? 
Hey, when it's Ed Greeny, this week I'm going to focus on the injuries when it comes to the Raiders' defense. Yet another guy falls down this week with a foot injury, surgery to Christian Wilkins. He's now on the IR. That means he'll miss at least four games going forward, probably more with that kind of surgery. How do they respond? That's the key this week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. We've wondered all year how the depth of this defense would play out. They have not played well of late in terms of them defensively. Their PFF grades are not good right now. So what we're going to see Sunday is how they can respond with this many injuries and if their depth is really as good as they say it is. I talked to a bunch of players in the locker room this afternoon. They said next man up mentality. That's what they're looking for, next man up. Well, we'll see if the next man up plays well on Sunday and if they can get the win against the Pittsburgh Steelers because they're going to have to play well defensively to do it with the Steelers defense against that new uh, quarterback with the Raiders, Aiden O'Connell, who's now uh, replacing Gardner Minshew. Pittsburgh Steelers has one of the best defenses in the league, so we'll have to see if the Raiders defense can answer the call. This is Ed Graney, and this is Against the Grain. Ooh, okay, Ed, I see you, I see you. Now, before we go, we're going to give you a little bit more info on this week that you can use if you want to make a wager. Let's go ahead and follow the money with Todd Dewey. No sharp action to report on the Raiders-Steelers game. Pittsburgh has been a steady three-point favorite all week, and the Raiders are plus 145 on the money line. The total is the second lowest on the board at 36 and a half. It actually ticked up a half point when Aiden O'Connell replaced Gardner Minshew, but odds makers told me they don't really see much of a difference between those two. Russell Wilson is active, expected to be active for the first time this season for the Steelers and will back up starter Justin Fields, but odds makers told me they don't see any difference between those two either. Pittsburgh is 4-1 to the under this season and has won and covered the last two meetings, including last year's 23-18 win at Allegiant. Pro sports better Jeff Whitelaw isn't betting on the game, but he told me if he had to, he'd take the Steelers as the Raiders are in a bit of disarray with injuries and the Devontae Adams trade saga. Thank you, Todd, and thank you all for kicking it with me for Vegas Station Game Day. If this is your first time watching, thanks for checking us out. As always, be sure to follow us on social media and the web to keep up with your Raiders news on Game Day and beyond until we come back for Vegas Station Blitz. You better be right back here. Now enjoy the action. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Powered by the Las Vegas Review-Journal, this is Vegas Nation Game Day. Presented by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable. Located in the One Summerlin Building in downtown Summerlin.